your side. Chief Meteorologist Bob Cheswald has your first alert forecast. So earlier today, before the rain came in, it was mainly fair, wasn't it? It's so fair that we decided at the Phoenix City Amphitheater camera to capture this wonderful shot of some zippers. Yeah, these guys are just on the one side, the Phoenix City side, after coming over the river, likely originally came over from the Blue Heron experience from Georgia over towards Alabama. And then comes the storms tonight, sweeping through, not severe, just a good gully washer. A little soaker here described. It continued to move right through the Pine Mountain area where meteorologist Nicole Phillips captured some heavy rain on Twitter tonight and all the way through areas of Harris County and Talbot counties. And now it is exiting. There's no more lightning with that. So the temperature after that rain soaker came through, 74 degrees, and the humidity popped up quickly. Look at that, dew point at 70. So it's, it's uh, muggy out there, definitely. Very typical for June. And we look at the radar forecast showing that energy leave. But tomorrow, let's take a look here late morning where we're still getting that upper level elongated disturbance. Think about it, stretched out like a rubber band. It's an area of low pressure over this area, and it's helping to drive or bring the chances of rain back into the vicinity even through tomorrow afternoon. Now, tomorrow you're going to see better chances than what you had this afternoon. Even though we just had that little line come through tonight, this one tomorrow we'll watch for showers and storms, and meteorologist Cody Nickel will be tracking this for us as it comes through the area. And you can see it as it continues to move through, another line coming through here, especially south and east of Columbus, too. So it becomes a little bit more unsettled here for just a moment before it sort of tapers off for the weekend, kind of stray, becomes more stray temporarily. But really, we're going to kind of have the same pattern through the weekend as it ramps up just a little bit before we dry out next week. That's a bigger change. So, summer-like pattern. So when it does become mostly clear after midnight in some areas, we're going to see patchy fog. If you have some clouds around, that's true. You'll see some of that. But the cloudy areas won't see as much fog. It'll be the clear skies above. We'll see some of that uh, fog forming. Isolated thunderstorms, you bet, is coming right back. We'll see better opportunities for that. So if you haven't received the rain, your chances are still coming your way right through the next couple of days. So we get right to this extended forecast. And you can see those temperatures still hanging around the 90s here, Phil. So that's the way it's shaping up in this extended first alert forecast for you. So uh, again, stay connected with us. And tonight, too, we had our app, WR Real Radar app, was able to go ahead and give everyone just a brief analysis of what it was. You can get future cast models on that as well. All right. Thank you, Bob.